So I'm in our recording started again. And uh, we're just going to go with what we have, you know. Hopefully you come out fabulous and um, there will be no issues. But uh, for now, it seems that there are some issues and we'll, we'll just deal with it. Okay, so welcome everyone. I'm Ann Devere. This is Turn Your Show Into Cash. Today is all about uh, hmm, turning it into cash. The the seven key profit generators is what we're going to be talking about, as well as the Gore-Tex <laughs> model. So we're, um, we are, let's see, okay. So, so far we've gone through factor one, which is all about getting ready. Factor two was producing your videos. We focused, factor two was only really one module, but a lot of content. So if you already started using your XSplit, fabulous and uh, if you haven't start practicing because it's going to make your life a lot easier and uh today we, we're gonna we're talking about how you're going to monetize it so this is going to get you excited now if you can't create your content to actually monetize it well you're not going to be monetizing it right so there you go everything we learned so far is good it's both so pulling together and uh we're going to go ahead and i'm going to go to over the shoulder go ahead and go into the studio here we go and uh, the seven key profit generators is what we're doing and also the traffic vortex so i'll tell you a little bit about each one but let's get started this is the overview of your homework so the big question is, do you want more clients or do you want more money? You know, so a lot of people, if you hear them out there, I want more clients, I want more clients. Well, if you're in capacity, you can't have more clients. You want to make more money, you have to figure out what exactly are you going to do? How are you going to make that money? And can you handle more clients? Can, you know, do you need different systems in place? Uh, are you going to be automating some things? How are you going to make more money? That's it. If you're a coach, you can only coach so many people, right? But if you have something online, you can put probably unlimited number of people. Or if you're doing something that's a combination like I am, again there's a limited number and like for example i can have you know probably up to 12 cast members on at the same time without it getting out of control you know uh but if so if those are, if you're thinking about doing what i'm doing you know something similar you can have six to eight cast members that's a comfort zone it's really good because if some of them don't show up you don't have like only one or two people showing up because things happen if you have a long program people you know we're busy professionals like you know so we get out there and uh, so this this way also if you have six to eight people you should have enough people that will create a case study for you you're going to be able to you know test the, the mechanism so that's a good number so this is where the, you know the combination comes in and if you noticed i actually have besides having the general public you know that we're actually promoting to and giving access to parts of the program i also have the audience participants so that's the second tier Year. So this way I can support a small group on a much deeper level and a bigger group and is still be able to support and make sure that I'm able to deliver, but it's not hand holding. So what your model is going to be depends on what you're able to do, what the time you have, uh, the, your work style, how do you interact with people, all of these come into consideration. So think about it, make decisions based on that. If you're not sure, test, okay? So do you want more clients or do you want more money? Yeah? So maybe it's a combination or maybe it's one or the others. You know, think about what's most important to you. So if you're in, uh, looking in your homework, I'm actually going to go ahead and go through the seven key profit generators. And this comes to me from Top Line Business Solutions. I am a certified consultant with Top Line Business Solutions. Basically, you know, uh, qualified to be serving, you know, Fortune 100, Fortune 500 companies as I see fit, but I like working with small business owners. So, so the seven key profit generators, pretty much every business has to look for is right here. The very first one, um, you want to increase your money? There are seven ways to do it. The first one is increasing the number of your leads, okay? You get more 
people seeing who you are and what you do. The second way is increasing conversion ratios. This is, you know, if you know you have right now maybe 10 out of 100 people who sign up for your program, if you increase it to 20 out of 100 people, you're increasing your conversion ratios. You basically are doubling the number of customers you get with the same number of people and the third way is improving your profit margins so this means that you actually get to keep more of the money that you get from each client you know so there by the way in each one of these in your homework i give you seven ways to increase the profit margins in each one of these categories so I'm, this is the overview so number four increasing the average sales transaction what this means is that each time somebody buys something for you instead of spending a hundred dollars they're spending two hundred dollars and spending five hundred dollars they're spending six hundred dollars so instead of thousand dollars they're spending two thousand so basically they're spending a little bit more than they did before the average transaction value okay number five is getting your customers to buy more often so instead of them buying one product, could you have something where they would want to buy from you, let's say twice a year, or could you have a program where they're paying you monthly? So membership programs are a great way to do that, increasing the, you know, the number of times they buy from you each year. Number six is increasing the number of referrals. So people are going to talk to people about you. What can you do? What can you put in place to get more referrals from them? And one of our cast members, Michael Griffith, is an amazing, an amazing teacher with this. He's got a fabulous program. We'll, you'll be hearing a lot more about that. And number seven is extend your customer's average buying lifetime. What this is is that people stay with you longer. Okay, so if they would normally stay with you, let's say a year or two and they move on and life happens, you know, then maybe you can put together some programs, uh, some continuity programs and do something that's going to help them stay with you longer. So these are the seven ways you can increase your profit margins. And again, in your homework, um, I have given you seven ways for each one of these. So that means that you have 49 different ways that I'm actually suggesting. You can probably come up with a whole bunch of different ways of your own, but pick and choose. All you have to do is just find one or two in each, in each section and you're going to be good. So for this module, I mean, for, for today's training, I'm actually going to uh, go through the first one, which is the one that people ask about most often. So what we're going to do is talk about the increasing the number of your leads because that's what we want we want people to come and watch your tv show so most people most people they get out there they're doing you know like one particular way of promoting themselves and this is kind of you know affectionately known as the diving board method okay they have just one thing that's working but if something happens to that one thing the business is shut down or they have to scramble to do something else so for example if you know all your leads are coming from social media great but what happens if Facebook changes something and LinkedIn changes something else and or, or worse yet if you're marketing only on Facebook or if you're marketing only on LinkedIn or if you're doing only ads or whatever something happens so you know you you're going to be having a dramatic shift in, in the money that comes in so we want to be a little bit more coordinated in our efforts so uh the parthenon method you know this is this is the one that actually has a lot more value i'm actually going to go full screen with this so you can see better okay so let's say it's, this means that you have several several ways that people can actually come and uh you know be with you Okay, so the very first one, you can actually start promoting offline. You know, again, there are seven ways in, in, your, um, in uh, your homework that give me some ideas. Offline, you could be doing speaking engagements, book signing, and, you know, all those, you know, networking, all the different things. This is you showing up offline. You could be using mailers, you know, or different, different ways of doing it. Okay, the second one is, of course, social media that everybody should be doing. Now, you can be appearing on TV and radio. I'm talking about network television or web TV, uh, radios, you know, again, web radio or traditional radio. Uh, it's all kinds of opportunities available. And referrals is another way you can be getting more leads. And affiliates, obviously, you know, you can get more leads. 
um, live events, you know, going to live events, speaking at live events and networking at live events. It's a great way to do that. And of course, sponsorship. This comes in once you have the viewers, you've done all the other things, then you have a bunch of people coming to you, then sponsorship is a great way. So now what I just shared with you is only the first way you can increase your profit margins okay this is increasing the number of leads that you get so if you if you're looking at your at your homework there are six other ways i'm not going to go into it i listed them just before so go back and take a look at all the other ways that you're going to be able to uh, increase now here i'm going to go full screen over here the other thing that i have shared with you is the business growth calculator i did a whole video on how you can actually make more money uh, using the seven key profit generators now in this case be so bear with me there's a video on this you can actually watch it and i know a lot of people don't like to look at numbers but you need to look at your numbers so i've actually given like two examples on how you can be, make about a hundred thousand dollars if you look at the bottom that's like about a hundred thousand dollars here profit you know this one is from membership site the other one is from your program so i'm going to quickly go through it what you're looking at over here is one you know the, these are seven profit generators one is a number of leads the second one is your conversion ratio third one is a number of transactions per year people what, what they buy from you fourth one is the average transaction value Fifth one is your profit margin. Sixth, the annual number of referrals and conversion ratio of your referrals. Okay, so if just using the, the, the calculations that uh, I'm showing over here, you just follow this basic one with these numbers, you're, you're gonna be able to make 100,000 from your program and another 100,000 from your membership or you can mix the two, but you have your numbers here. The way it's set up, this is that Basically, if you get 500 leads a month, 500 pre-qualified leads a month, this means that people have actually gone to your website and opted in for something or other, okay? So say that's 500 leads a month comes to 6,000 leads a year. Now, if you have a process, you know, they go from one place to another to another, maybe two or three places they go to, they opt in and, or they see an ad. So it's like a chain reaction. You should be able to get at least 5% conversion. That means that you have 300 new leads. Now, if the new, 300 new customers, sorry. And um, if they buy only one thing, let's say you have a $497 dollar program online program that's one hundred and forty nine thousand dollars at eighty percent profit margin that means every 20 cents out of every dollar you're actually spending on marketing or admin or whatever else you know you need that's one hundred and nineteen thousand dollars and i have not even added the referrals i have not even even added a conversion from referrals because those are much much higher because if somebody is referring you the people are much more likely to sign up so this is just using the first five okay this is just using the first five so let's take a look at a membership program i keep telling you you need to have a membership program and you need to have an online program so looking at the membership program we have the same let's say you're doing the same kind of marketing you have 500 pre-qualified leads coming in and you this time you're doing a 10 percent conversion this means you're going to have about 600 people in your membership program um that's they're, that means they're paying monthly you have a monthly payment so uh, that's 12 payments there let's say you're charging 19 dollars a month you notice i'm making the amounts really low so it, you're able to say okay i can do that so at 19 dollars a month for your membership program that's one hundred thirty-six thousand dollars. Again, we do eighty uh, percent, you know, profit margin. There you go. So, do you see this? So, if you are doing a combination of both, and depending on how you decide to do your marketing, you're going to be able to generate at least one hundred thousand dollars, you know, to to do this. Okay. So um, now, I would like to actually hear from you guys. Do you see these numbers, and do you, do you think these are doable? Is this something you feel like you can actually achieve and follow through based on what you're already learning? Okay. So let's see. Yes, I see. I see, Katie. I you know. So okay, you guys. Really, I want you to really see. Look at this. These numbers are doable, and we're producing a web TV show, right? So we have a lot of opportunity here. 
a lot of opportunities. So all you have to do is follow these numbers. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at how we're going to be achieving those. Okay, now that we got you in the flow over here. Now take let's take a look at what we're going to be doing. Now, if you're, I keep people, hearing people say, if they only knew. Well, here's your chance. Here's your chance to let people know who you are and what it is that you are doing. So to do that, we're actually going to be following Gina Guadio Graves' Vortex model. Now, I've been around a long time. I've seen a lot of different programs. I've worked with a lot of brilliant people. And some things just stand out because they make sense. Okay, they make sense and they're easy to follow. So whenever I look at something, it was like, okay, is this doable? Is this simple enough? Can can it be easily customized for everybody's you know uh, environment you know, within their business? So I'm going to go full screen over here to explain to you what the vortex model is. But I love the way it looks. By the way, isn't that pretty? It looks like a pretty colorful flower. I love it. So the vortex model, while it may look complicated, it actually is a lot simpler than you think. So, for example, you know, right now. Um, I hope this is already making sense for you because you have watched the video that you know that was in your homework. Okay, I hope you already have because I'm going to go through this quickly. So basically, the vortex model is based on you having your core program at you know in the middle, and then creating content that's going to go out from there to attract people to come back to your uh, high-end program. Your high-end program is in the middle. Now, the thing that makes this really stand out is that um, the way Gina has created this, it's really the funnel method. Now, all of us are familiar with funnels. You know, you have a free program, it leads to a low-cost program, leads to a higher, you know, cost program, then it leads to, you know. So we, we have this funnel where you get people in for free and they, and they go to the middle. Well. This is actually the funnel with an attitude. So basically what it is is that it's, it, everything that we're teaching, it, it falls under segments, which Gina calls uh, pillars. Okay, so in, uh, in my case, turn your show into cash is based on a tri-factor system, right? It's get ready, get on the set, get paid, and make a difference, right? So get ready is one funnel. Get on the set is another funnel. Get paid is another funnel. And make a difference is another funnel. So let me, I'm going to take an example of one and follow through with it. So uh, this is going to be really clear. You're going to say, oh, my God, this is so brilliant. I love it. Yes, and I can do it. So I'm going to move over to the next uh, next one. So this is, again, get ready, get on the set, get paid, and make a difference. So these are the pillars. So what makes this actually work really well is your higher end ticket is in the middle. This is turn your show into cash. Then you have uh, you have the your paid programs that are on the outside over here, lower cost. And then you have your TV show. Here I'm going to go full screen again with this. Okay. So what this what happens here is that. You have segments for your TV show, you know, the 30 second video tips, the one minute tips, uh, you know, interviews, three minute interviews, whatever you create, it goes out there on social media sites, they say. And so then you have your TV show or it goes on your website. There is no, your TV show is free. People are watching, so they get to experience more of you. So the video tips and promotional, whether they're ads, lead to your TV show. Your TV show, remember each one of your episodes is based on one of your teaching modules, leads to your paid programs. This goes into the membership area. This goes to your online program. All of those fall in this ring. And then from there, it goes to your high-end program. So is this making sense? I want to make sure we are clear on this, okay? 
So you guys get this, right? This is this is uh, basically what we're doing. Uh, the segments you're creating creating for your TV show, the 30 second video tips, the three minute interviews, whether it's uh, your guest experts or the three to five minute uh, teaching segments that you're going to be having within your TV show, uh, the Q and A things that people. Uh, uh, are going to be sending you questions. The Q and A you're going to be doing at the end of the TV show. So, do you see the whole formula for producing your TV show is really based on segments where you can put each one of those three minute segments, thirty second segments, one minute, five minute segments can go out all across on other people's TV shows. And we have some really cool things planned for you. So, we're going to be making the content that's on our network available for global TV shows and uh, you'll, you'll be hearing a lot more about it but right now it's about you creating your content and putting it out there again social media on blogs and give it to other people and uh, e emails different ways you're going to be able to get it out there your videos go out and then uh, leading to your TV show so you have more viewers to your TV show that means that you have more possibility of getting those uh, uh, joint venture partners and affiliates and the co-op marketing, which we're going to be talking about next week and uh, Getting sponsors. So the more viewers you have for your TV show the more opportunity you have to get uh, More support from outside the more viewers you have for your TV show You have more of an opportunity for your paid programs and then leading to your high ticket items so I'm going to move over to the next one. Now, this, this is really, really important. As you are planning, as you're planning your TV show, I want you to understand that um, there are certain things that you have to have in place because we want you to be super successful. So the first part is training. You're learning. I'm providing you with the training. And then you need money to produce and promote, right? So there's the funding. And within the program itself, I have incorporated the co-op marketing to get you started with the funding. And where Lynn and I are working on crowdfunding, so the next step would be to actually start, you know, getting money outside investors for your show. And as a matter of fact, uh, if you're interested in uh, participating in a crowdfunding program, let me know. And I'll tell you how to get in touch with me later because we're actually setting up for the next next year. We're going to be doing crowdfunding for a different TV show every month. So there's money coming out. And also, the next level will be sponsorship. So once we have the viewers, we're going to have sponsorship. So next, we need production. Within the, within the program, I'm teaching you how to produce your own videos with XSplit. But the next level for that is you going to act, you know, go into a studio or hiring a production company to produce your shows. If you're creating your content the way I'm saying, building your library, conducting interviews, going to events, interviewing experts, conducting interviews online, doing your trainings online or training live trainings and doing hot seats during your live events, basically building your library, then you can actually hire a, hire a production company to finish producing the show or you go in, into a studio or have the production team come to a location either way you're going to be able to do all these things but I made sure within the program I'm teaching you enough to get you started in every way so co-op marketing to make money uh, exploit to produce your show then there's a distribution where are you going to go where is this all going to go how you know who's going to see it well Actually, there's going to be some marketing. We're going to have some marketing uh, ideas that we're going to be sharing with you. A lot of it has to do with your co-op marketing. But also, you are going to be able to get your content out there with the web TV networks that I'm associated with. They are coming to me for content and I'm coming to you for content. So even a distribution I am, you know, making available for you. And then there's the promotion. Again, we're doing co-op marketing, you know, getting ready to do a major promotion for turn your show into cash as well as the access to experts. So you're going to be able to get within what I'm doing as well as the promotions that you're doing. So the marketing components we're actually including within the training. So you're going to be able to not only promote yourself but do co-op marketing with all of us as a community 
because together we're stronger. And of course, then you're going to be needing some support. Okay. Well, if you're, if you have money and all that, I hope you already have some support, but if you're making money, getting yourself out there, you're going to be needing some additional support. So you want to start thinking about having an assistant, somebody who's going to be placing those calls for you, booking those calls for you. And, uh, also, you probably need an associate producer as, as you start growing. But right now, you can just get a VA who's going to make sure you're booking the calls and maybe doing some technical stuff for you or setting up ZStream or XSplit or whatever if you're not a techie. So these are the things that you need to have in place. Again, when you're deciding how much money you're going to make and how much money, what your profit margins are, all that, you have to think about where is the money coming from and how you're going to be producing the show. And this is really, really, really important because when you start approaching people to for them to invest in your show, when you start approaching people to do co-op marketing with you, you have to show them a plan. You know, this is what I'm doing. This is what my show is. And this is how I'm going to be promoting. This is how many viewers I'm expecting. And this is why I think it's going to be successful because I'm not just shooting a video. I'm actually building a business mechanism. You have to explain this so people this, you know, will decide whether they want to invest in you and with you or not. So, you know, this, I'm giving you the information that you need to consider next week. We're actually going to be doing a co-op marketing and you're going to have the plan of how do you approach people? What do you do? How do you pitch your show? What is the essential information you need for, for producers and co-op marketing partners and sponsors to be actually considering you? Because I promise you, not a, not a single minute of a TV show has ever been shot without uh, knowing why they're shooting it. They already have the plan. You know what? This is who the show is for. This is who we're expecting. This is how we're going to make money. And this is what we're going to be promoting. Sounds familiar? <laughs> yeah. Everything we're doing is based on traditional TV production and web TV and, and principles of business growth and marketing. So I hope all of this is like really starting to gel for you where, hey, this isn't just creating a video. This isn't just getting on Facebook Live. This is a business building mechanism. So anyways, uh, that's, that's going to conclude the, the training portion of this. So I am going to go ahead and... Uh, Let's see, I'm going to stop this particular record.